Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Excel and how to make a bar chart in Excel. This will be a relatively quick tutorial where I will cover off um, how things potentially go wrong, um, a kind of manual way of making a bar chart, uh, and then at the very end of the video I will show you how to create a bar chart in the most quick and efficient way possible. Um, if you find this useful, please click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell, it means a lot to the channel. And with all that said, let's jump on over to Excel. Okay, so here we are, um, I have a basic data table here, uh, where I have each salesperson um, by month and then the sales that they've achieved. And what I'd like to do is actually summarize the sales by month and then put that data into a bar chart. Now, what a lot of people tend to do uh, when they go ahead and, and relatively new to Excel, um, they just think that they can throw this directly into a bar chart. Um, so they might go ahead and select the data that they want, um, go to the insert tab, navigate over to the chart section, click on the bars that they would like, and then they're presented with something like this. Um, and then their mind is a little bit blown um, and they don't understand quite what's happening here. Um, and basically the way that this kind of happens is um, you haven't kind of told Excel exactly what you wanted inside that bar chart. Instead, what you've done is you've selected all of the data and then Excel's like, okay, I'll throw all of that into a bar chart. Um, so not the most useful um, and it's obviously not really something that you're going to be able to present or put into a PowerPoint document or anything like that. So what we're going to do is actually delete that off. Um, so the first thing that you need to actually have in order to uh, render a bar chart correctly is a subset of data that's been summarized. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to type out month and sales because that's kind of what I want. I, I want to know all of the sales by month and then I want to put that into a bar chart. So if I start typing Jan and then I can use the um, autofill here just to drag that down and um, put in the months for me. And then I'm going to just use a sum, I'm going to use a sum if function um, where I'm going to select the range, what I'm looking for, and then the values there. Um, if you don't know how to use a sum if function, go check out my Excel basics uh, playlist. It's got quite a few different functions such as um, sum if, sum ifs, averages, uh, counts and things like that. Um, pretty useful to know. So if you don't already know how to use those functions, go check that playlist out. Um, right, so now I have um, all my summarized values by month. Um, what I want to do here is I'm just going to format this as a table, keep it the same as the table I have over here on the left hand side. So now I have summarized data like this, I can now go to the insert tab, navigate over to the chart section and click on the bar chart um, that I would like and now I have a meaningful bar chart that actually starts to make a little bit more sense um, and I can see the sales as we progress through the months. Okay. Now, obviously, this method takes a few different steps, right? So first of all, I had to create a little mini summarized data set. I had to use a sum if function to render that particular piece of information um, by month. And then I had to create the bar chart afterwards. Um, it's not hugely time consuming, um, but it does require you to do a few steps, right? So basically have data, summarize your data, create the bar chart. It's a three step process. Um, however, we can now actually use this data um, to create this all within one step. Okay, or well, within two. So first of all, we have the data, and then the second step is to create the, the bar chart itself. In order to do this, what we want to do is actually have just click into our data. We don't have to highlight it. We can just click anywhere because it's a table. Um, I can then go over to our Insert tab, go to the Chart section, and then there's a little... Um, button at the end here called pivot chart. If I click on that and then you get two options. One is a pivot chart and one is a pivot chart and a pivot table. Now if you're familiar with pivot tables you'll know you can customize your data and it summarizes things for you. Um, if you're unfamiliar with pivot charts they basically are graphic representations of a pivot table. So a pivot chart actually has a pivot table that sits in the background um, and the pivot chart and a pivot table allows you to edit the pivot table as well as the chart itself. Um, but I'm just going to click on chart for this example 
and then just like a pivot table it's going to show you the same kind of thing um, so select the table or range so I have this particular table called sales table that I'm going to use um, and then it's where would you like you um, place your pivot chart well I want it in an existing document I don't want it in a new document and I'm just going to click on a location that I would like it I'm going to click right there um, and then I'm going to click OK so now you can see two things one I have this little floaty uh, pivot chart box and then this over here is the um, pivot table okay so we don't have to activate the pivot table at all we just have to use this pivot chart um, and what we need to do is grab our months and put them into the axis of category okay and we can see our pivot table is changing dynamically and then I'm going to grab the sales and then put them into values and just like that I have created a pivot bar chart and um, it takes a few seconds it takes hardly any thinking whatsoever um, it's basically created this same mini table but in a pivot uh, in a pivot table rather than having to create it manually so no need to use a SUMIF function um, but with a pivot chart you can do things that you cannot do with a regular bar chart um, so if this one here for example it is static it is what it is here um, obviously if I add more sales in by month yeah sure my sum if functions are going to calculate and it's going to continuously grow but with a pivot chart what I can do is actually as you see down here there's a drop down for months and you can filter this so if I said I only wanted to see um, the first three months now I have a bar chart that's only showing me those three months whereas I can't do that with a regular bar chart but I can do it with a pivot chart um, likewise I can change this um, to include all once again and again it will render everything as needed now just like um, so the pivot charts work just like any other bar chart does so I can go into the design tab and I can choose various different formatting and um, depending on my style I could also um, toggle certain elements on and off um, so I can go to the format I believe or in the, that's in sorry it's in pivot chart analysis um, where you have these field buttons I can turn the field buttons off so I can no longer filter it but I like to basically be able to filter things I can turn off the um, field list on the right hand side there or I can add it back in and there's a lot of things that you can just do with a pivot chart that's just makes your life a little bit easier um, but that is it guys that is how you go ahead and create a um, bar chart in Excel if you found this useful please do click on the like button hit subscribe and tap that bell it means a lot to the channel and with that said I will catch you guys in the next video